Well, the Dundalk FC players training here behind me. It's business as usual for them, but of course their future and the club's future, the second most successful club in League of Ireland football, the future of this club remains very much up in the air today. Of course, it's a club that's €1 million Euro in debt. A statement was released by the club on Sunday night saying the next 24 hours are crucial. Owner Brian Anskoff looked as though he had to find an investor by 5 o'clock last night or else the club was going to go to the wall and going to go out of business. Well, that 5 o'clock deadline passed and the owner then confirmed that he was in talks with a number of interested parties, a, a glimmer of hope, if you like, for Dundalk, the players, the staff, and also the supporters. And that really is essentially where we find ourselves today. Interestingly, we believe there's two potential bidders looking to take over Dundalk. And one of those potential bidders, both would involve uh, local people involved there as well. But one of those potential bidders could potentially see the club not have to go through the examinership process. And why that's interesting is because if they were to go through the examinership process, most likely the club would be relegated and the debts would have to be restructured but if an investor came in and took on those debts and took over the running of the club it would mean for these players here behind me they could potentially be a Premier Division club next season if they fight off relegation on the pitch they could manage to fight it as well off it with that new investment coming in and they could be a Premier Division club next season which would be a massive massive boost for these players and for Dundalk. That is the hope we don't expect any major announcement today the club will take due diligence and take their time before they bring in a new owner but uh, positive news last night for Dundalk. The future very much up in the air, but they would hope for a positive outcome over the coming days.